What's good, YouTube? It's your boy and Live Live and Effect back in the building. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, your boy still do got bronchitis, corona. I don't know what I got, but it's still in me. Pause. Big pause. Ayo. But in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks. Pause on giving y'all tips. I've been on some wild stuff lately. I've been saying some real freaky shit. Ever since Diddy got arrested, I've been a little fucked up. All right, let me chill. Let me. For real though, in today's video, I'm going to be going over all the basic settings, defensive, offensive, controller settings, all that stuff that might help you get better at Showdown or at my team in general. Now, by no means am I a sweat, but Sweaty Ant Live is coming out. I got a little gameplay that only lasted a couple minutes into the first quarter. So we will be looking at that. I'll kind of be explaining as much as I could. Now, this is definitely more for the casual players. So if you are sweat, if you like that on the sticks, drop some tips down below. Pause again. Just tips don't sound right. Leave some suggestions down below on how you think you... Uh, how do I word this? Man, if you got any help... No. If there's anything that you think might help other players, be sure to leave it in the comments down below. I appreciate it. We all appreciate it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get straight to the video. Now, we're going to come over here and go straight into controller settings. Now, this is what I run. As far as shot timing, layup, free throw, visual cue, all that, we're going to talk about it. So shot timing profile, completely up to you. Of course, take all this with a grain of salt. I personally run normal risk reward. Now, I was running high risk for a long time. Time, but that shit is green or miss like no other. I mean, if your timing is not chicken, oh brother, you might as well start sending everybody back. You know what I mean? At least with normal, you can make whites. Now, I don't feel right making whites. Like, uh, making a white feels nasty. Like, I feel like I don't deserve the points. But even greening feels easier, which is weird. Like, I green a lot more on normal risk. So that's what I run personally. Now, layup timing. I've only run real player percentage. I haven't tried anything else. I know people do run high risk reward, which is also good but for me real player percentage is the easiest it keeps it the most simple now free throw timing obviously user timing shot timing visual cue i run set point it's a big year for push a lot of people run push i don't see anybody running jump i've seen a few people run release but not that much set point or push seems like it's where everybody's at i personally again run set point i ran it last year i'm gonna keep on running it this year now besides that everything is pretty much default hold lot pass button is gonna be cut to basket it. but those are the main things you want to look at for your shot now let me know what you guys are running down below but again this is what i run this is what works best for me this is where i feel i shoot the best one more time before we get out of here normal risk real player percentage set point you should be good money now if we come over here to the shot meter visibility for shots off my shot meter off i try to run it pack it up now i'm not gonna lie in my career i do run it for some reason i green more with it on in my career but in my team i green more with it off it don't make no sense now the meter for the layups ass a lot of people like it me personally i hate it i will never run it again i had it on for a little bit now maybe it's me maybe i'm just stupid bro i was bricking wide open layups like i couldn't time the layup i don't know what it was it just throws me off completely just listen lay it up it's off you ain't got to worry about it. you can look at it time it boom good to go you do make some tough layups if your meter's on but like i don't know i just prefer it off last year i had it on but it was a lot easier the meter was better last year i feel like this year not for me but again completely up to you now free throws i do have it on everybody got a different shot i need to see what's going on from the free throw line for real especially because you're not at the line as much with all your players you shoot a lot of threes you could get that timing down a lot quicker than you can your free throw timing not even that free throw timing's hard but it's just listen i need to see what's going on all right that's just me though so that's what i got as far as my shot meters now i will say that figure out what works best for you get in the lab try different things the game has been out for about three weeks now and by no means is this gonna make you the best shooter in the world it might make you worse my bad but you gotta figure out what works for you you gotta test different things i've been trying all the different reward high risk normal all that and again this is just what works best for me and it might help somebody else out there now if we go into defensive settings now i feel like this is one of the most important things in the game obviously it's your defensive settings oh actually, before we get into that my game plan freelance five out then i got comp and swing just because why not nine times ten times out of ten i'm in a five out though you should be too now defensive settings let's talk about it i can hear myself talking i feel like somebody duct taped my fucking nose together like i fucking hate being sick i hate it damn all right defensive settings though on ball off ball i run moderate for both now for defensive settings on ball and off ball pressure i run moderate for both there will 
will be a point in time where both of these might need to go to tight, especially off ball, just because shooting is going to get better as the year goes on or people are going to get better at shooting cards will get better so that's one of the things that will change eventually but for now don't get me wrong there are cards and players with quick enough releases and that could shoot well enough to where if you run moderate against them they're going to knock it down but for the most part for the casual people who are in the higher tiers who aren't on the game anyway moderate moderate should work just fine you could go moderate tight you could go tight tight because like i said there is going to be a point where you're going to have to run that anyways. So if you want to get used to it now, go ahead. But I run moderate, moderate. Now you could adjust this in game based on each player. That's a lot of work for a lot of people though, especially if you're a casual, you're not going to want to do all that. I really don't do all that for real. Like y'all know me, I don't be in the setting. But the clutch thing is you could set your settings now and it saves. That's the only reason I'm doing this. Because if you've been watching me, you know, Ant Live do not go to the setting. But moving on from that, force direction, I got it on automatic. A lot of people, also like baseline nobody ever runs middle it's good for if you're off balling then you could have your computer send them baseline help from the weak side maybe if you want but then you give up the open look so that's why i leave it on automatic and if you want to guard ball in the corner you could force them baseline just kind of that's like what i do sometimes i don't know if that just made sense but i think y'all are picking up what i'm putting down on ball screen go under on ball screen center go under all that we're going under okay we're going right under i'm not worried about nobody shooting too crazy yet all right now this is one of those things that eventually probably gonna change to over though like i think there's gonna be a point in time obviously because shooting's gonna evolve where we have to go over but right now i don't think anybody should be too worried about going under then going under you'll be fine now you're gonna have your games where people are shooting lights out you gotta live with it that's when you make the adjust and that's one of the biggest things don't forget you could adjust this so if you're getting cooked by going under, just hop in your settings, go over. It's about adjustments. That's how you get better at the game. You feel me? Especially this year, I feel like, I'm not going to say you need more skill this year, but last year was definitely an easier game to play. Just the gameplay in general, you were able to win more games. You were able to hit more shots. Shit was different last year. I mean, you lost to more scrubs last year than any other year. This year, there's a learning curve. There's things that you have to do. You have to know what certain things do. So again, don't be afraid to make adjustments. And another thing I would recommend don't only take my settings and run with test things out for yourself go watch other people's videos there's a lot of videos out there on defensive settings and settings and tips and tricks and all that go watch them go check them out and put together your own thing you feel me see what works for you see what doesn't i will never sit here and tell y'all this is the best defensive scheme you could run bro i'm ass i'm gonna keep it a buck this is just what works for me though nah i'm not ass y'all can see me all right let me stop trolling because some of y'all might take that too serious anyways hedges catch hedge hedge catch head catch every hedge yeah if you're hedging you're catching catch the hedge okay don't do nothing else don't double don't hard don't soft no, no. catch hedge all right for both of them it just makes it easier it gives you time to get back to guard the three ball again nobody's shooting like that now if you don't get up quick enough obviously you're giving up the shot i feel like this is something that a lot of people overlook but it does help a lot as long as again you're getting back quick enough like if you're switching you're going to hedge whatever you might be doing whoever you're controlling if you're off balling it gives you time it doesn't give you time to get back well i guess it kind of does you got to get back quick enough or you're going to give up the shot though but catch hedge on both on ball screen we already talked about that stay attached i always stay attached now there's actually a decent amount of people that run automatic you can't go wrong with automatic i've just always ran stay attached it's almost like a habit like this is one of those settings that you could have run in every 2k and it's not gonna change much again stay attached you could run automatic but i recommend running always now now for all this you're just gonna leave this on all the basic stuff now this is where we talk about help rules all right help no help do not help don't help at all we're not helping all right screen help no help drive help no help center help no help now if y'all rocking with coach and live let me know because i could really coach y'all for real i think that'd be a fire video now nah, let me stop i would make y'all lose about 40 now in my opinion i always ran no help anyway but no help is great this year because for one layup dunks like everybody's scoring in the paint right now 
you feel me you don't want to give up no easy baskets because you're sending help from the corner or wherever the help might be coming from and giving up free threes because it might come back and bite you in the ass pause now no help is where it's at i think most people 95 percent of people are gonna agree no help is what you want to be running if you're running something else i mean tell me why i don't understand it but no help is just like if you get beat you get beat pause but don't be giving up no threes you don't want no dumb rotations because then your players start acting dumb i don't know about y'all but once my defense collapses shit just goes haywire so no help prevents that staying attached prevents that so all these things kind of tie into each other and again a lot of people are running five out this year so it's a lot of one on one if you get beat or you're off balling and they get beat do not help you'd rather give up two than three because if you help, it creates the opportunity for a three. People are getting better at shooting. Don't give up unnecessary shots. Now, I know I said these were settings for casuals, which they are, but I think everybody should be running most of this. I think a lot of the people who are nicer at the game also run a lot of these settings. But again, some of this stuff is preference, like on ball, off ball, going under. That's going to change throughout the year. That could change from game to game. But for the most part, if you just casually hopping on and hooping, you should be able to run with. You will be good. Now, as far as player minutes go, another basic setting all my starters run 26 bench runs 22 i just got ocd i like it neat now for coach settings adaptive coaching engine off timeouts manual player minutes substitutions all manual offensive and defensive play calling is manual late game fouling manual now team communication i like running offense and defense it's just <coughs> Oh shit, bitch. I run offense and defense. You see the shit pop up on top of their head, like if they're cutting or something. It's just a cool little thing, you know what I'm saying? It helps you see the floor. Teammate cut to basket, I got on manual. So that's my settings for that. Now my playbook, I run nuggets. I got Jason Tatum as my coach. Show me what Jason Tatum has ever coached, but it's just what I run right now because I don't got nobody else. Now I did also want to show y'all camera settings because this might help y'all see the floor a little more. So this is what I run. Another thing that's preference, but I run on 2K my zoom is at two my height is at nine some people run one and ten which as you could see it's a slight difference really don't make a difference i don't know two nine is cool for me one nine one ten somewhere in that range you want to run because as you could see right here right you could see the entire floor if you're driving you could still see everybody on the three-point line. So this is good. If you're coming down on a fast break, you could see people in different places. You want to be able to see the whole floor, especially if you're running five out. You want to be able to see everything that's going on. Now, another thing I recommend is y'all do what I'm doing right now too. A lot of people are still having a hard time shooting consistently. Get in the lab, man. Get some shots up. Learn their dribble moves. Learn what they do. Even if it only takes a couple minutes, all you got to do is spend 10 minutes in here. Now, I know a lot of people might not have that much time, but get a couple shots shots up it may seem like it doesn't make a difference but it does make a difference especially if you're trying to win more games in showdown all right y'all so this is the game that i ran for this video just to show y'all what the settings do all that stuff a couple tips tricks things like that so as y'all could see i am on balling i prefer to on ball or switch whatever you guys want to do play how you're comfortable you see i hit t-mac on the wing that's why you want to run that zoomed out camera because if i was mad zoomed in like right here with it with my face in the screen you can't really see those open passes you're not going to be able to get those shots off now granted i had a few options there it's good to be able to see the whole floor like right here you can still see everything now i shot with t-mac and i don't know about y'all but my dumb ass cannot hit back-to-back -back shots, all right? I'm absolutely trash. Now, the first thing I did do on offense, too, was go straight to a five-out, and I'm calling for ISO. That's the first thing I'm doing. But make that a habit. As soon as you get possession, go freelance five-out and call your ISO. Space that floor. It's very important that you space the floor. Now, as you can see, he is off-balling. We're going to try to take advantage. Now, right here, we shoot a little pull-up midi, and it's a white. That's why I run normal risk. Now, again, I don't feel good making those, but it's chicken. Like a bucket is a bucket you feel what i'm saying now right there is an example of nobody helping he kind of got a step on him everybody stayed home i like that right here we find t-mac green it's really just repetition getting your reps in getting right learning how to run right here we get the chase down but again you see he got beat nobody moved if chet would have dropped back and helped we would have been cooked i know like there's a lot going on and i'm kind of moving fast i probably should have broke this down a little slower but again this isn't like a breakdown of the gameplay it's kind of just showing you different things from the settings that we run now right here he hopped on the mic and said something he might have called me ass but then he got up out of there but like that was just a quick example of what certain things do and that's why it's important to know what your defensive settings mean and again y'all i can't stress it enough go watch other people's video there's a 
million videos like put everything together see what works out for you but hopefully from this video you learn something now for my people that been here i know a lot of y'all like that this might help some of y'all it might not but for the new people the people who are looking to get better at the game this was again mostly for y'all so i hope you did learn something here for my people that are nice on the sticks again drop some comments down below let's help some people out let's help them get nice at the game let's help them have a better experience on my team because i ain't gonna lie i've been running it up i've been having fun i've been cooking on showdown i'm definitely getting a lot better there's a learning curve this year so let's try to help each other out you feel me but that's gonna do it for this video i appreciate all y'all watching man we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers 2,000 that's crazy work y'all so i'd greatly appreciate if you can hit that sub button one time man so let's get right thank you so much for watching this was your boy and live live and effect and we out